welcome to, welcome to another video once again my name is cam and this evening i will be talking about the ncaa college world series softball game between tennessee and oklahoma and i will be analyze i will be talking about that game that's going on tomorrow and how these two teams got to play each other in the college world series so first tennessee played alabama yesterday on june 1st tennessee beat alabama 10-5 the biggest keys to the game were the two home runs by Tennessee's Jamison uh, uh, Rockinbro and Riley West. In the third inning, Jamison uh, 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 Rockinbro hit her fifth home run of the season. First in the playoffs for Tennessee, it was a two-run home run. Went very far out of, out of the stadium, stadium actually. And then in an in, in inning later, Riley West followed it up with a three-run home run. As for the pitching for the for the Volunteers, Ashley Rogers went four innings with one strikeout, and one of their best pitchers, uh, Peyton Gottenschall, he she went three innings with one strikeout. As for Oklahoma, they beat Stanford yesterday on June first by a final score of two to nothing. They they only scored two runs on an error by the left fielder in the fifth inning. The ball went off her glove, so that's how the two runs came around the score. For pitching, for them, they have an outstanding pitcher by the name of uh, Jordan uh, Ball. J Jordan Ball. She pitched a complete game against Stanford with 11 strikeouts. She was pretty much the only effective player on the field for the Sooners yesterday in their 2 nothing win over Stanford. As for Tennessee, once again, we look ahead to the matchup. How are they going to beat Oklahoma? They're going to have to keep hitting home runs, whether it being Riley West, Zeta Pooney, who had an off day on June 1st, but she's looking to rebound with at least one home run, if not an RBI, in the game against Oklahoma. Peyton Gottenschall has to do what she can to keep the Sooners' offense from going crazy like they have have been, because like we all know, Oklahoma is on a 48-game win streak. They're looking to complete the record for 50 wins in a row, which would be done if they beat Tennessee if they beat Tennessee on Saturday. Um, one thing that Oklahoma has to do to beat Tennessee is they just have to keep scoring runs. You know, they're good at this. You know, their pitching is in place. If they start Jordan Ball, she'll do what she can. She'll do what she can to keep the defense in, in place. But if they keep scoring runs, and they find a way to throw Tennessee off early, they will win. But once again, it all comes down to pitching. And in my honest opinion, I believe if the Volunteers have Peyton Gottenschall on the mound in the circle, they will. that will be the difference maker. And along with Zeta Pooney, Jamison Brockenborough, Riley West, the offense they have, I think it's going to be a touch. It's going to be a tad too much for Oakland. For Oklahoma to handle, and unfortunately, Oklahoma will have to be on the um, on the verge of elimination if they do lose to Tennessee tomorrow. So that's something to look forward to. But that game is tomorrow afternoon, Saturday, June third at three p.m. So please look out for another video where I'll be recapping this game and looking forward to the next game with the winners of Tennessee and Oklahoma playing the winner of. Washington and Florida State. So look out for that video. Bye for now. Thank you.